you know, we're worried about our parents getting in and out of a tub or in and out of a shower. And again, some of the things that are available out there are the zero threshold walk-in shower. So there is no curb you are gonna step over. A low profile, which might be an inch and a half to two inch tall, shower pan made of either a cultured stone or a reinforced acrylic base. And we even have ramped options to where we can have a removable ramp um, that we could add to the front of the pan and then at a later time that can also be removed um, if you don't need it. If you've got a custom size shower there's a couple different things you can do to get a pan that will, won't cost you as much money. One is to use a is to go with a cultured stone pan where we can put the drain anywhere you want. There's also flex pan options that have different drain locations. You can move the tile flanges to enter on different areas of the shower. And again, once you drop that pan down, you're not paying a tile guy or, or dealing with the cleanup or the, you know, the underlayment that you need to use for tile. Solid surface, non-porous, any size, drop a pan, and now you're worried about your walls, and that's the very best way of getting a great base for your unusual size. If you've got a shower pan that bends like a fiberglass, it looks dirty, what I would recommend is either going with a reinforced acrylic shower pan, or you can go with a cultured stone pan. Either of those will be nice and sturdy and easy the budget. If you've got a small space but yet you want it to feel bigger, a great way to do that is to use a product, a curved shower pan, which is bowed in the center. So this way if you've got a big boy in the family or somebody who's a little bit larger, they won't be banging their elbows and yet you won't have to increase the amount of space you're actually occupying for the shower. The nice thing about these pans is you can custom to any size.